Episode 1, we meet Jason, played by Joel Edgerton, and his wife, Daniela, played by Jennifer Connelly, a married couple living in Chicago with their teenage son, Charlie. Everything with their life seems normal, if not a little too routine, until Jason is invited out to celebrate an achievement by his friend and former colleague, Ryan Holder. Ryan won the Pavia Prize, an award in the field of neuroscience that could eventually lead to grant money and career opportunities down the road. Daniela convinces Jason to head to a local bar for the celebration. Ryan says he owes Jason. Jason provided him some notes that were essential in completing his award-winning work. After a few drinks, Ryan says he wants Jason to be a member of his new team. During a drunken walk home, Jason is mugged by a man in a mask who takes his wallet and phone and forces him into a car. The mugger somehow knows his cell phone passcode, then asks how Ryan is doing. They arrive at a strange location where Jason is forced to remove his clothes. He tries to fight off the assailant who winds up cutting his arm on a piece of banister. Jason is thrown down the stairs and injected with a mysterious substance. He's given a bag with new clothes and is ordered to put them on because soon he'll be unconscious. As he nods off, he asks the guy who he is. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, is the only reply he gets. Jason wakes up being poked and prodded by doctors, doused in cold water, and put into some sort of dorm. A woman enters and gives him a hug, but he doesn't recognize her. She says her name is Amanda and that he's cleared from quarantine. In a meeting with a man named Layton, Amanda calls Jason their chief science officer and co-founder. Layton says Jason is the only one who has returned He's been gone for over 14 months, and they want to know where he was and what he saw. They want to keep him for observation, but he makes a run for it. He's confused and angry. His memories are foggy. He hops in a cab and gives the driver his address. When he arrives home, he's confused to find Amanda. The man with the mask gets out of a car, and it's Jason, or Jason number two, a version of himself without the marks from the beating. Inside, he finds Daniela standing at the sink. Her first words to him are icy. He tells her about the job offer from Ryan and apologizes for not returning her calls. She eventually accepts his apology. Back to Jason number one, he can't figure out where Daniela is or why Amanda is standing in his apartment. Nothing is as he left it. Instead of his son's bedroom, the room is full of trophies, including one commemorating his Pavia Prize win. He grabs his phone and makes a call, looking to make contact with his wife, but he has the wrong number. While he continues to downward spiral, Amanda tells him he doesn't have a wife. Some henchmen pull up outside. Jason dips out the back door and starts running. Jason number two doesn't waste a moment. He takes Daniela upstairs for some quality time in the bedroom, as they undress, we can see Jason number two's arm wrapped up in bandages, confirming that this version of him was the man in the mask. She asks what happened, and he replies, You wouldn't believe me if I told you.